sneezing one after the another, headache and asthma. That used to be my story for many years at every change of season, whether it was March or it was November, December. Every time it was a pleasant weather, I used to keep sneezing or I used to have blocked nose and very often I used to have asthma attacks. And believe me, Cetrazin and Derifilin had stopped working for me. I have taken them for long enough, but there had come a time when all this had stopped working for me. But now I've healed myself, I can enjoy all this lovely weather, I can go out for treks, I can go for vacation or I can just concentrate on my work with full focus and not being interrupted by a blocked nose. Okay? So in this video, I'm going to share with you all the tips, all the do's and don'ts that I followed and which helped me to heal myself. Whenever season change, people give you different advices and it also comes from many learned doctors that you should avoid exposure to pollens, to dust, to, to change in season, to cold weather, to dry seasons. But if you think about it, it is the same outside environment which is there for everyone else. Millions of people are also going through the same process that you are going through. But it is only and only your body which is reacting to it or I would say few percent of people who have problem with this change of season. So it's time that we think now the problem does not lie outside but the problem lie within us. The problem lie within our immune system. It is our immune system which feels that it is alarming all these allergies whether it's uh, allergic rhinocytes or sinus or uh, it's asthma. The, this is your body's response to allergens from outside. It takes those allergens or those situations to be alarming. And that's how your body defense mechanism work. And it does get confused what is good for you and what is bad for you. So we need to work and get our basics right. We need to work on our immunity from inside and not just by taking um, immu immunity boosting pills or taking tablets like cetrazine or derifilin or just putting it uh, nasal drops to deal with that situation or that symptom at that point in time. In this video, I'm going to share with you a detailed list of do's and don'ts which you should do and which you should not do so that you build immunity from inside and so that you are able to enjoy this change of season and enjoy your life. Don'ts. In don'ts, we will learn uh, some of the dietary things that you need to watch for or things or food items that you need to avoid. Also, some of the basic practices that you need to keep in mind. So let's start with what are the things or what are the food items that you should avoid. First, I would recommend you to avoid these five whites. You should avoid rice, milk, banana, white flour and white sugar. So avoid all these five whites because they increases the kapha levels in the body. Whatever allergies you have, whether you have allergic rhinitis, sinus issue or asthma, these are all kapha pravritti disorders. So you need to work on the foods or you need to reduce the intake of foods which increases the kapha level in the body. In, when I say milk, you also need to avoid all the milk products. When I talk about white sugar, you also need to avoid everything which has white sugar, which may be bread, a biscuit. So you need to think through things, whatever you are consuming, which has white sugar, you have to strictly avoid having that. Now, also, I'm going to tell you something which would be new for you. Avoid intake of preservatives. These preservatives are really bad for you. They will increase your episodes of sinus issue, allergic rhinitis and asthma. So 
uh, you must be thinking I hardly take any preservative there is hardly any preservative in my food but think about it you are eating ketchup you are eating bread you are eating those biscuits you are eating lot of stuff like chips uh, chips and other stuff everything that comes in a packet or is packaged or has a shelf life of long or has expiry days does have preservative added to it so strictly avoid having preservatives along with preservatives when you stop having these preserv uh, these uh, packaged foods you also avoid these acidity regulators which are being put into your food and they are extremely bad for your digestive system these chemicals uh, disrupt the gut health and the microbial balance of your gut so once again i say avoid having these packaged foods don't eat heavy and outside food these foods are deprived of nutrients at the same time they are really tedious tasks for your stomach or for your digestive system stop having antibiotics antibiotics are really bad for your gut health and in turn for your immunity in india doctors readily prescribe antibiotics even for a viral infection so watch out next time when you are being prescribed an antibiotic try to go on alternative methods and work on your immunity rather than just popping up a an antibiotic don't challenge yourself without preparation it's like jumping into ganga without your life jacket on many a time people tell you kuch nahi hota kar le tu sochta bahut hai aur uh, why you can't just enjoy the first snow it's so lovely out there just having a cold coffee a chilled cold coffee once will not have any problem but you know for sure that this will impact your health you may start sneezing one after the another or your sinuses can get clogged or you or if in case you have asthma you may start wheezing so it is very important to put your life jacket on tightly first that means that you should first work on building up your immunity and then challenge yourself now i'm going to mention things that you should do till now i was telling things I, that you should avoid doing now you will get to learn things that you have to start adding into your routine or you have to start doing in this list there will be a list of the foods that you should add into your diet or the category of foods that you should add into your diet and also there are certain practices which will help you to get quick fix or quick relief from your problem and detailed yoga practice that you should do to help and build your immunity start having vitamin c rich diet like you can start by having fruits and vegetable which are rich in vitamin c like guava papaya you must be surprised right but these fruits are also very high in vitamin c along with well known fruits like amla oranges lemon also you can start adding broccoli and uh, capsicum or uh, bell pepper to your diet have fibrous foods processed food junk foods they are not just deprived of nutrients but at the same time they lack much needed fibers for healthy gut and immune system so start adding um, green leafy vegetables and uh, fruits to your diet so that you you have enough fiber to take care of your gut have foods which are rich in pre and probiotic prebiotic foods are food for probiotics and probiotics are healthy bacteria for your gut so a good example for prebiotic foods would be mangoes apple flax seeds whole grains kidney beans black beans you can start adding all these to your diet and probiotic would be curd and spices like carom seeds uh, though uh, i said earlier that you should not have milk and milk products but curd you can have in the first half of the day that is before uh, uh, your lunch or with your lunch but not post that now the most awaited part of the video i'm going to share with you quick fixes uh, which will help give you instant relief one of my video had got many views and uh, many people had appreciated or had reverted that this specific practice had really helped them and that is instant nasal allergy solution which is very simple thing you have to just take lukewarm water in your palm 
and uh, you can make it little saline by having by adding a just less than a pinch of salt to it sniff it and then exhale sniff it and then exhale you have to just do it two times from every nose and you have to add it to a every day routine immediately after brushing just do that and post that put ghee drops now let us understand uh, apart from dietary changes what else you can do adding a uh, exercise routine to your daily routine is very very important all these uh, problems whether it's allergic rhinitis sinus issue or asthma they are because of the increased level of kapha in the body and due to lack of proper regulation of heat in the body in certain parts of the body there's a lot of heat especially the digestive system the pitta is increased whereas other parts of the body the heat flow is not proper when you exercise regularly the blood circulation increases and also the heat regulation in the body improves apart from that you can also like the exercises that you can add to your routine could be as simple thing as running if you don't have time but i being a yoga teacher i'm going to recommend with you specific yoga practices that is going to help you a lot which had really helped me so i started with jalneti and sutraneti practices that helped in uh, reducing the allergy ep episodes uh, because i used to sneeze quite often so those practices really helped me apart from that surya namaskar help in using your apart from that surya namaskar really helps in building up your immunity and increasing your lung capacity when you do when you bend backward and forward you are inhaling and exhaling to the maximum so surya namaskar is badly required or is immensely recommended from my side start your practice by doing kapal bhati for 60 strokes uh, for three rounds followed by nadi shuddhi pranayam for 5 minutes then do surya namaskar along with ujjayi pranayam this entire practice should not take more than 15 minutes every day so start adding it to your daily routine i hope this video really helped you i try to put in more maximum of the things that i applied in my daily life try to apply all these things in your life if you think it's really tedious you can start by applying two or three things at a time then gradually go on adding everything to your daily routine but uh, i would advise you to stop having anything in packets strictly avoid five bites that i recommended to you also um, add prebiotic and pre probiotic foods and fibrous foods to your diet and don't forget to practice yoga every day in sunlight i hope you really like the video please let me know by leaving a comment below and giving a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family who have been going through allergic rhinitis uh, sinus issue or asthma and if you in case you have any ideas or any problem that you are suffering from and uh, you think that i can help you with please leave in the comment below bye bye stay well stay happy